I'm supposed to be on a flight in, I think, four hours or something like that. Yes, I'm leaving you. I'm sorry, you have to stay here with Daniel. Basically, I've set myself a challenge and that is that I'm not going to pack anything because I'm gonna get to Hawaii and I'm gonna go to Walmart as soon as I get there and I'm gonna buy a week's worth of clothing from Walmart. I I'm not crazy, I swear. We've arrived, baby Kunkin and mother Kunkin, ready to go on an adventure. Alex, what the hell just happened? Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> you know what I love the thought of? I'm sitting in a limousine right now on my way to Walmart. <laughs> I've never been in a limo before. But if I'd gone to a prom in my time at school, I may have gone in a limo, but never did I expect to get picked up in one at the airport just by accident. Like, completely by accident. I know. If you're an Australian, you're probably very confused right now. You're probably thinking, why is Alex riding in a limo instead of a taxi from the airport? Well, apparently in America, they treat limousines just like taxis. Uh, in Australia, that's unheard of. You never see a limo unless you're going somewhere fancy and you're paying a lot for it. But I was at the airport. This limousine pulled up in front of me. The driver said, where are you headed? I was like, oh, no, no, I just want a taxi. And he was like... I am a taxi, so uh, he didn't charge me any extra for the pleasure of riding in a limousine, but I got to experience it anyway. <laughs> Amazing. We're here. Hello. We found the Walmart. Look. <laughs> so we're going to go in and try and find one week's worth of clothing. I'm a little bit nervous. I hope that there's pastel things in there. If there's not, it's going to be like pretty goth please for yeah. a week. We don't really have any idea what we're getting into. No I personally idea. have never been in a Walmart I've, before. I never. So. I'm mm -hmm. guessing it's going to be like Target. So we're, we're going to find out. <laughs> yes. Stay tuned. Very tall. Pink Coca-Cola shirt, or red. Pink for the aesthetic, red because it's so cool. Always late, never sorry. Me! It's like a unicorn pooped in here. I had the very difficult decision of deciding unicorns or pastel stripes. Unicorns, pastel stripes. Me when I was a goth, me when I became pretty pastel, please. Okay, so day one, we've arrived. We're gonna go into Bubba Gump now because we've been shopping for literally, I think, five hours. So we need to get some lunch. I'm gonna get changed, and then that'll be the day one outfit for the rest of the day. Hello to Walmart. The belt is too big, so I have to punch a hole in it. But aside from that, I really like it. I really like the yellow. The dress is incredibly soft. I'm feeling pretty good at the moment. This is very comfortable. I'm very, very happy. Cheers. Cheers to Walmart. <laughs> Your basket matches your outfit. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Holy heck, Alex. Too much. Not enough. Half this shit would be illegal in Australia. Well, literally, they wouldn't be allowed to sell it in Australia. <laughs> oh my god. Like, what is this? Like, canned cheese. What is that? <laughs> what is that? I don't even know. This isn't going to be worn this week, but this is a Bob Ross t shirt. And he says, let's make the, let's make them birds. Yeah. No, wait, hang on, what does it say? <laughs> Ever make mistakes in life? Let's make them birds. Yeah. Let's, yeah, they are <laughs> birds now. 
she tried. Surprise! I'm wearing pyjamas out in public. <laughs> Who'd have thought that's something I would do? So uh, I bought this at Walmart and originally we bought them because it was like, oh yeah, you know, I'm wearing Walmart for a week so I obviously have to wear pyjamas as well so I got a nighty. but I put it on and I was like, you know what? I mean, yes, it's a nighty, but it's also kind of cute. Don't you think? Like, you know, with the sneakers, it just kind of looks like a cool blue dress. I mean, feel free to roast me in the comment section below, but it's midnight here in Hawaii and it's dinner time as far as my stomach is concerned. So I need to go and eat, but because it's midnight here, pajamas are totally acceptable, right? Oh boy. Oh boy. We're both going out in our pajamas I'm right now. I'm so torn right now. <laughs> <laughs> no! Coffee house, aloha and mahalo. After 48 years and over 14 million meals, we will be closing our doors on October 14th, 2018. No! Where am I gonna get food now? It's midnight. I'm wearing a Walmart moo moo and it's midnight. I came out for 24 hour food. Now I've just walked out on the street for no reason, embarrassing myself. You look cool. Okay, so on to day two now, Tiasha and I are going out to the Cheesecake Factory. We're gonna get some lunch. These shorts were $7 and the top was eight. The shorts are incredible. They're so comfortable. I can't get over how nice they are. And the top is so cute too. That's pretty cheap. So I'm interested to see if I can find anything out there in Waikiki for a comparable price for the same quality. I'll be pairing it with the backpack from yesterday. So this one was $24, the $10 shoes, the $1 socks. And then my dilemma is I have the belt so this was a $10 belt and I wanted to pair this because there's rainbows here and there's rainbows on the belt but I think that it's like a little bit much so Tiasha and I were having a look and trying to decide what we want to do and yeah I think it's like too many rainbows so I kind of feel like maybe I'll just go without the belt like I did buy the belt specifically for this outfit but might give it a miss but it is a very nice belt and it was only 10 bucks so that's going to be the outfit of the day today. I feel full looking at it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know whether to be disgusted or turned on. <laughs> Okay, so we're done lunch. Uh, that was insane. American portion sizes are huge. We have two takeaway boxes right here, so that's gonna be our dinner all sorted. Okay, we're at uh, Waikiki Beach. This is the last you will see of this outfit because I'm getting changed into a bikini from Wish and then we're gonna go for a swim. And I really like this outfit. I've been complimented on the shirt. When we got to the Cheesecake Factory, the guy was like, I love your Coca-Cola shirt. So yeah, this one has been a success today and it's been super comfortable, perfect for this weather. I feel really like American in this and I love it. So um, that's it for day two. <laughs> ah, I have an eclectus parrot. Oh. Male or female? Male. He's Hello. very nice. Oh, yeah, he's wow. lovely. He's, uh, we post videos on the internet and lots of people watch him. Nice. He, he talks. There's peekaboo, what are you doing? <laughs> These aren't big talkers right here. No. He's 23, he's 13. Oh, is that an umbrella cockatoo or a malacca? Yes, it is. Or... Oh, Put he's so, so sweet. Oh. Handsome boy. There you oh, go. Oh, wow. Look at that pose. Oh. This one is how old, did you say? 23, 13. 23, hey buddy. He's that so buddy old. Buddy and Snuggles. Is his name Buddy? Yeah. No way, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a good boy. Oh, oh, lovely, baby. thank you so much. Aww. The bird whisperer. Archie. Where's Archie? Oh, Archie, what are you doing? Hello, Archie. Oh, good boy. Hello. Hello, baby. Oh, my sweet boy. He misses me so much. Okay, so it's uh, day three now, I think. I'm gonna wear this down to the beach. So I got this one from Walmart. This was $15 and I thought this was really expensive, but it's an island towel wrap and it says it's made out of 100% pure cotton. It feels quite thick, so I guess it 
I mean, it's 100% cotton, so I guess it probably is worth it. I think you tie it like a skirt under your bikini, tie it like right? A skirt. Yeah. Like that? Mm hmm. I'll wear this down to the pool, and then I'll also wear my little Walmart hat. There we go. I like that I'm able to achieve the, the pastel aesthetic even through Walmart, it's great. But anyway, we're gonna wear these sandals down to the uh, pool. It's like a, a five, ten minute walk from our hotel to the lagoon, so I hope that my feet can stand it. They feel really, really nice, like they're super solid and I mean, I haven't worn them anywhere yet, but at the moment they feel comfortable, but that's what we gotta find out. You know, like the amount of times that I put on a shoe and I'm like, oh, that's comfortable, and you wear it for literally four minutes and your feet are falling off. I guess I can also do some Walmart sunglasses. Jojo Siwa Walmart sunglasses. <laughs> Gucci is suing. This is the Hilton Lagoon. So we're gonna have a little bit of a swim. It's quite early in the morning. The smell of breakfast is filling the air and I'm very hungry. So we're gonna have a swim and then get a start on the day. chicken and waffles because it's very American and uh, I've never had chicken and waffles before so I'm a little bit nervous. This is not a combination we have in Australia, it just is not a thing that exists. So I'm nervous. I'm excited at the same time. What's the white stuff? That's ranch. Unusual to think like ranch with waffles. Okay, I'll try the chicken on its own. So it's day four now and we're wearing the $18 two-piece set. So uh, we're at the Waikiki Farmer's Markets today. Uh, we're gonna go in there, have a look around. I've got the hat on obviously because it's very, very sunny. I've got the sneakers on because we're walking a lot, but also I did bring the high heel sandals as well in my backpack in case we see any Instagrammable shots and I wanna take those. So uh, I'm feeling good. It's perfect weather for this. This is a little tiny bit thick, but it does have the built-in shorts. So even if it's windy, I'm not going to flash anyone. So uh, let's head in, let's wear this for the rest of the day, let's go swimming a bit later, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So, come along! My favourite thing about Hawaii is the wild chickens. Oh, that's so cute! So we've just sat down to eat. I got uh, some spring rolls, or we call them spring rolls. I, I don't know what they were called here. Fresh rolls. Or something rice like paper that. rolls? Yeah, rice paper rolls. Oh yeah, we don't call these spring rolls. I'm an idiot. <laughs> My holiday brain has me not thinking straight. I'm feeling a little bit warm. This is 
quite sort of, it, it's not very breathable material, so it's a little bit hot, uh, but also we are sitting in the sun, so I guess that'll do that too. I was gonna put on the nice heels, but I actually kind of like this with the sneakers. I think it looks nice. I do really, really like that I can sit here in a skirt slash shorts, cross-legged, and I've got my legs out to breathe, but also I have my modesty flap right here. This outfit for $17 so far, I, I actually think I really like it. I was so hesitant in the change rooms, but no, no, I, I'm really, really happy. So good job, Walmart. Good morning! We are in Diamond Head Crater right now. That's right, I can't believe it. We are literally in the mouth of a volcano, which is so strange to think about because when I look up and I look around, it just looks like mountains. But then when you think about it from a bigger perspective, it's like, ah, oh, it's just one big circle. There's a very tall point behind me in the trees there and we are crazy enough to want to hike it. Uh, yesterday, we got the bus up here. We looked at it, we felt the temperature and we went, yeah, nah, too hot, not gonna do it. So we've come back, we got the first express trolley up here this morning. I'm wearing this. This is the bralette, jeans, sneakers. Uh, oh, and this too. Uh, this is the first time that we've shown this one. So this is the cute little pastel bag. Oh, funny story, uh, just quickly. We went into a store yesterday and I asked if they had any pastel sneakers and he was like. And I said, oh, oh, I'm sorry, pastel. And he was like, oh, pastel, yeah. Guys, really? Really? So, I've got the pastel bag, uh, and I've also got this to cover my poor ginger shoulders because they will burn to a crisp, uh, and I've got the hat too. I'm starting to think I should have got another hat, but uh, I've worn this one to death and I'm very glad because it's very, very cute. So anyway, we're going up the mountain. This is a, a good outfit-ish to wear because it's kind of like a sports bra-ish, right? It's like a sporty outfit, but not. So um, anyway, let's head up and I think I'm probably going to die along the way. <laughs> Woman! We're matching! Oh, matching! Matching, matching! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! I didn't see you there. I was just making friends with the locals. Hello! I'm already tired. Me too. How are you feeling first? Don't ask. I don't, I don't want to talk. <laughs> it's times like this that I realise just how unfit I am. <laughs> I was walking around Waikiki for four days in a row. Wow, I'm really, really fit. I've been walking every day for hours and hours and then you add a little tiny bit of an incline and I dropped it. <laughs> This is a staircase and a half. Oh my god. Okay, we've made it. We are at the top of Diamond Head Crater. So you can see it behind me. It goes all around like that. And then on the other side behind me, there's the ocean. The crater is really, really cool. Like from down below, it just looks like a bunch of mountains. But from up here, you can actually tell that it is or was a, a volcano. So we made it. I'm feeling warm. I'm feeling sticky. But also there's a nice refreshing breeze. Yeah. So I think it was a good idea that we wore these. I think so. Alex, let's start with the top. How did it go? Great. Very breezy. Breezy. The jeans? Too hot. I should have worn shorts. Like you had the right idea. The shorts were a great idea, definitely. Sure. Yeah. No, jeans on a hike doesn't make sense, but as oh, jeans in general. Yeah, they're good. They're, they're like good? stretchy. And nice. Now the piece de resistance. Your shoes have oh. made it through a volcanic. Hike. They're just a little bit dirty, but they yeah. actually made it fine, and they were they were really really good to walk in. I didn't yeah. slip once or anything. And is my backpack dirty? Uh, not at all. Yay! So we made it made it to the top unscathed. I'm very happy. <laughs> We're at the Alamoana Centre and Tiata's 
friend recommended somi somi to us. So this is taiyaki. This is what you get in Japan. It's like a, a fish with its mouth open. It's full of ice cream. I got ube ice cream. And there's taro filling in the middle. And apparently this flower is edible. Thank you. 